We're originally from New York, and uh, we decided to move down and be closer to Thumbelina's doctor down in Florida. Hi, I'm Michael, and this is Thumbelina's story for GeoBeats. Thumbelina? My wife and I are wildlife rehabbers. What are you doing? You decided you need to take a, a nap? We got a call one day from a gentleman in New York City who he left his window open, and a mother squirrel came through his bedroom window and gave birth on his bed. It was impossible for the mother to take care of the baby, so we had to intervene. We knew something was different about her. Squirrels usually open their eyes around four weeks old. She opened her eyes at about nine weeks old. <laughs> And then as soon as she opened her eyes, she didn't really associate with the other baby squirrels. She wouldn't play with them. She stayed separate. All right, you lead the way. All right. She would always walk on the ground. She was afraid of heights. It was a lot of things that just were not good signs for a squirrel to survive out in the wild. You need help getting on that window? You can do it yourself, but I'll help you. Come on. Okay. 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 Can I make you happy? This one makes you happy. Then she started to gain weight easily. Most squirrels, their metabolism is super fast. She was eating a normal amount, but she was just kind of on excess weight. There we go. So we take her to our vet. He deals with a lot of squirrels in the squirrel community. And we eventually figured out that she had a hormonal imbalance. You don't think you've had enough? You think there's more? She had polycystic ovarian syndrome and endometriosis, which is also very common in human women. And one of the main symptoms is being able to kind of carry excess weight or put on weight for no real reason. It wasn't because they're eating a lot, and it kind of just throws off their whole sort of behavior. Go to the left. Your other left. She had a full hysterectomy when they removed the, the uterus. Some people might think that that's gross. She is super, super affectionate. From her hormonal imbalance, she's very calm. It's not like a regular squirrel that'll usually just run away very fast. She loves to get massaged. She's definitely very mushy. Okay. She's very intelligent. You're cut off. This was supposed to just be a little snack. With the watermelon, as soon as we finish, we just hold the paper towel roll up and she'll walk over and just start rubbing her face to clean it off. I bit better. Thank you. She's pretty much litter box trained. So if she's hanging out with us on the couch and she has to go to the bathroom, you'll see her get up. It's just through repetition like any other animal. <laughs> What's wrong? She's also very independent. If she doesn't want to do something, she'll make it very known and she'll just walk and climb up her little cat tree and hang out in her little clubhouse. Why are you mad at me? <laughs> About three years ago, I think it was on her fifth birthday, we noticed something wrong in the roof of her mouth. She had what are called odontomas. So they have to be removed, which is a very complicated process. And basically the only vet in the country that really does it was in Florida. And we were living in New York. So we made four trips back and forth from New York, driving to Florida, which is about a 16 hour drive to have them removed. And after about the fourth drive to Thumbelina's doctor in Florida, we said, you know what? It would just be easier to move. Florida is a wonderful state. And we decided to move down and be closer to Thumbelina's doctor down in Florida. Who had a bath like a good girl? Yeah, she's shedding. My wife hates when people yeah. even use the word pet. She's, it's not our pet, it's our daughter. What do you get? It's oh. not a trick. It's not a trick. Okay. Use both yeah, hands, yeah, use both hands. hands. To get all okay. Worked on. It's okay. She just turned eight. She is one in a million. Thumbelina, this is a drive-by snacking. You really think that this is a good look? <laughs> Not on the chair. On the paper towel. Thank you. I think you can make it. Good job. The frog is not here, don't worry. Oh, here he comes. Thumbelina is very temperamental. Thumbelina. Oh, I'm sorry. Just the other day after her birthday party, she wound up sitting in some cake frosting on her backside. Okay. So she had to get a bath, which she does not like. You okay? I'm no, I'm good. Uh, yeah, yeah, baby. You look pretty. Yeah. She honestly didn't talk to us for almost 24 hours. She kind of just wanted to be by herself. You could clearly see her sulking or moping. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Okay. <laughs> She knows that I give her more snacks. Mommy keeps her on a much more strict diet, so she'll know automatically if mommy's not home, she'll run up to me and just stare at the refrigerator until I open it. A little bit of banana. She definitely doesn't think of herself as a squirrel. How much of that roll are you taking? You're the prettiest girl I ever saw. I mean, she was born mm -hmm. inside an apartment, but she did grow up with other baby squirrels, so it's kind of confusing. It's something we haven't been able to figure out. I love you.